Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to use Microsoft Excel to do a discounted cash flow evaluation analysis. This is a technique that I use in a lot of my videos to help come up with an intrinsic value of a company. And it's actually pretty easy to apply once you get the hang of it. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan. This channel is all about investing. So if you're into that kind of thing, check out my other videos by hitting that subscribe button. With that out of the way, let's get into it. Okay, so we are going to use this discounted cash flow model on Alibaba. So this is a free cash flow to equity model. If you don't know about that model, check out my video about it in the description below. But this is the basic formula. The price of any stock should be equal to the present value of all the future cash flows to equity holders that they're going to receive. Now, because we can't forecast the next 30 or 40 years for a company, that, that's impossible. What we often do is we use about five years and then we have what's called a terminal value or TV. That terminal value, you know, there's, there's different methods. I like the method where you take the future, the, the cash flows you're going to generate in that year, year six, and divide it by the discount rate minus some sort of stable growth rate, which I'll label G stable. Now that stable growth rate, I'm just going to say two and a half percent for that, assuming the company just raises its prices to keep up with inflation. Because it's Alibaba, I'm going to use a 15% growth rate during the first five years because Alibaba is in a growth streak. And I think that will continue for a little while. The R, how much are we going to discount these by? I'm going to say 7%. And based on some work I did, which I won't show here in the video, but I assume their future cash flow to equity in the next year is about $15 billion. So I've put the, the money amounts in million. So basically I made my Excel sheet just to fill in this formula. So, okay, future cash flow to equity for next year. I'm going to refer to that cell down there. Uh, how about the year after that? Well, that should be equal to that year times one plus the 15% growth rate, which I'm going to refer to here as G10. So let's do dollar sign. Oops. G dollar sign 10. All right. Now the reason I do the dollar signs around it is so that I can just drag this and fill in the rest of these cells here. That works very nicely. If I didn't put the dollar signs around it, it would not work that well. So, okay. To get the present value again, I'm just filling in this formula. So I have the numerator here. We know the denominator. So let's get the present value. I'll say equal to this cash flow divided by one plus the discount rate, the R. And that's in cell G9. And again, I'm going to put dollar signs around the G. And that, that is going to be to the power of one. And that's actually why I label these, you know, year one, two, three, and, and so on. So that I can refer to it in my formula and I can just drag it. All right. So the next thing I want to do is just add up the, uh, the future cash flows, the present value of those for the first five years. So it's the equal sum. And I will highlight these cells here. And now the terminal value, which is where most of the value of the company lies. Remember, that's going to be equal to, let's say parentheses, whatever that free cash flow to equity is in that year, divided by, remember, R minus G. G stable, that is, the stable growth rate. That's the terminal value. But if you look at the formula in blue, remember, the whole terminal value is divided by 1 plus R to the power of six. Okay, so in my Excel here, I've got the total intrinsic value in terms of millions. So that means it's about $371 billion market cap, supposed you know, intrinsic value there. Uh, because they have this many shares outstanding, which I've already plugged in, I take the market cap, I divide it by the number of shares, this is the fair value of a share of Alibaba, according to the model, which is far less than the actual share price. So we would say that under these assumptions, 
the stock is very overvalued. Now, the great thing about using Excel is that you can just change these assumptions whenever you want. So Alibaba growth rate 15%, well, they've actually grown at about 23% over the past five years. So we could say, let's say 23% continues. And all the numbers change instantaneously. So it's very nice to uh, use Excel in this way. Uh, I do notice that even with those new numbers, you're still looking at a fair value per share of $185. So uh, I'm not sure here. Maybe the discount rate can go down to 6%. That gets you to $221 fair value. So, okay, you can play with it yourself, but you see the point here is um, it allows you flexibility like that. You can just plug in a whole new company's numbers using these four cells right here, and you can have a whole new valuation very quickly. Okay, so very quickly, just to show you where I got this data, I use seekingalpha.com. I love this website. You look up a ticker symbol. Here we got Alibaba, and you just click on financial. Once we do that, we're taken to a page where we can see their income statement. You can see everything here that you'd ever want. If you scroll down, you can also see their balance sheet or their statement of cash flows. Uh, so using this data, I'm able to get a stream of net income and I'm able to get an estimated growth rate based on that. Or you can look at analyst forecast data. So rather than use historical data, if you want to rely on analyst forecast, here if you clicked on the growth button on Seeking Alpha, you can find things like revenue growth forward. That's what people are expecting. Uh, earnings before income and taxes growth forward, which is actually 47%, much higher than the number I plugged in. So that may be why this stock is priced so richly right now. And you can find things like earnings per share, forward long-term growth rate, three to five years. And that's at about 21%. Okay, so finally, how do you estimate the discount rate? Well, that's a complicated process. Uh, it's very difficult to estimate with any precision. But generally speaking, you take the risk-free rate and you add to that some sort of equity premium for, for holding equities because equities carry risk. Now, the amount of equity premium you want to add to that risk-free rate just depends on the volatility of the stock. And we have a measure of that called beta. If you know anything about finance, you know about beta. Beta is just a measure of how much your stock moves in relation to the stock market in general. So for Alibaba, their beta is 1.03, which is very close to just being one. So this stock, basically one means your stock moves in sync with the market exactly. So a beta of 1.03 means, you know, you're very, very close to moving exactly with the market. You're not especially volatile, nor are you especially safe. Hence, I think a discount rate of about six, maybe 7% would be reasonable. Okay, guys, well, I hope you found that video useful. If you want to do your own valuation in Excel, that's how you would do it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button. I really appreciate it.